Hello, my name is Bert Schneider. I am the Global Director for Desalination of FlowServe with over 25 years of experience in the desalination market. Thank you very much for attending this virtual show organized by FlowServe and thank you for selecting this presentation about desalination. In the virtual trade show last year, we were mainly talking about the portfolio of desalination products. This year, I would like to talk about how we can better support the industry. So I will talk about the center of excellence of desalination that has been created, about our latest success stories, and also how we can best support you during operation. Now let's start with some challenges our customers are facing in the desalination industry. The chart that you see prepared by Global Water Intelligence is showing the trend towards uh, privatization and more towards BOO and BOT projects. Therefore, operational aspects are of highest importance uh, to our customers. Projects are awarded based on lowest water tariffs proposed, and most of these contracts have a duration in excess of 20 years. So FlowSurf is continuously working to improve the efficiency of our product and to reduce therefore the power consumption of the plant. Reliability, availability are key factors for our customers. And last but not least, we also ensure local support through our specialist to guarantee an adequate aftermarket support globally. So next, let me talk about solutions that we can provide to best support our customers in the desalination industry. Now, FlowServe established a desalination center of excellence. A team was selected from different FlowServe departments focusing on desalination. We are convinced that we can support our customers best if we understand the needs of our customers and the industry, if we understand the processes and we speak the language of our customers. This will also allow the center of excellence to understand best the trends in the industry and therefore start improvement processes that are needed to support our customers. You can he see here a simplified chart with, uh, with different departments involved and dedicated resources from FlowSurf. Now let's review some main activities of the Center of Excellence. This is a global acting supporting desalination team, not only supporting our customers, but also FlowSurf colleagues. We review process requirements and specification, analyze process designs from an equipment supplier point of view, and we propose process optimization in light of CapEx and OPEX. We propose equipment selection in light of the individual product, but also uh, for the product working together as a system. And we offer optional equipment to achieve best overall process performance. This uh, center of excellence is also supporting project specific uh, improvements on the hydraulics. And last but not least, it also follows trends in the industry to continuously improve our products and processes. Next, I would like to give you a short overview of our product portfolio for desalination. FlowSurf is the only supplier able to supply the complete flow control portfolio for desalination, including pumps, energy recovery devices, valves, 
and seals. Of course, we also provide service. Our aftermarket is insured through a global network of service centers. For monitoring and analytics, we provide our IoT approach, which we call Red Raven. Flowsurf has more than 50 years experience in desalination and the biggest install base globally in the world. Now, let me give you a quick overview of our pump portfolio based on the typical PNID for a seawater oil plant. Everything that you see here in red is basic equipment that uh, Flowsurf is able to provide. Now, let's start with the VCT intake pump. It's a vertical pump uh, often used in uh, the last desalination plants. If we go to the high pressure feed pumps, we have actually three different models typically used. For the very large sizes, mega projects, we successfully supply the DBSHRO up to 7,000 cubic meters per hour. For X large projects, up to 3,000 cubic meter per hour, we have the DMXRO high pressure pump. And last but not least, up to 1,500 cubic meter per hour, we also have a ring segmental fluid lubricated high pressure pump. As the ERD booster pump, we use uh, the HHPX, which is a pump that has specifically improved and developed for this application. And for all the auxiliary services, but also used as a high pressure feed pump, we have the DSRO and suction pump. Of course, we also have our energy recovery devices. We have the Dweer work exchanger as an isobaric device, and we have the Pelton turbine as a rotary hydraulic device. Next, let me talk about two of our latest reference and success stories, which just have been commissioned and now in operation. In 2019, Flowserve received two orders for two mega projects in the Middle East. Rabik 3 with 600,000 cubic meters a day in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Tawila with 900,000 cubic meters a day in the United Arabic Emirates. We supplied a total of 135 pumps for both projects. And regardless of the COVID, which did hit us right after uh, signing the contract, we managed to basically deliver all the pumps on time for both projects. Now, the main pump used in both projects as high pressure pump was the DVSH RO. We are very proud that we are the first supplier that was able to deliver a high pressure pump of that size, reaching efficiencies clearly above 90%. To date and to our knowledge, these are globally the most efficient high pressure pumps in operation. As a high pressure feed pump, but also for some auxiliary service, again, we supplied in both projects, the DSRO and suction pump. While in both projects, the high pressure pump is running at a fixed speed and always at the best efficiency point, this DSRO high pressure feed pump is equipped with a VFD, which means that this pump is basically dealing with the changing operating conditions and also is able to achieve efficiencies up to 90%. The last example I'd like to present for Rabic and Tawila is the HHPX ERD booster pump. This pump is uh, operated again with a VFD to most efficiently adopt to different operating conditions through the lifetime of the product. It's a very special design because this pump has to deal with high suction pressure, 
resulting in large axial thrust. Uh, the pump today can uh, take flows up to roughly 2,000 cubic meters per day. Now please find here some, uh, some pictures of, uh, of the Rabik 3 and the Wheela project. On the left you have Rabik, on the right you have Tawila. At the top you can see again the DVSH RO high pressure pump. Here you can see in the middle the HHPX booster pump, ERD booster pump. And at the bottom uh, you see the DSRO high pressure feed pumps. Next, let me talk about solution that we as FlowServe provide to best support our customers in the desalination industry. Now, once equipment has been supplied to a desalination project, the operator and FlowServe has to work as a team and partners to ensure the safe operation of the desalination plant throughout the years. FlowServe is securing that by a global service center network with local specialists. In addition to that, we offer operation analysis, either in physical presence of a service engineer or through our IoT system, in order to analyze the operation and propose upgrade or improvement proposals. On this slide, you can see some services that we can provide uh, to our customers, uh, starting from local support, trend analysis. We can provide uh, availability and performance guarantees. We can support during commissioning and startup we can offer overhauls, um, stock management, or upgrade analysis. Or we can basically select some of them and transfer that in a long-term service agreement. As like in many other industry, digitalization becomes more and more of an issue also in desalination. The answer of FlowSurf is RedRaven. RedRaven is the FlowSurf IoT solution that will support the operators in monitoring and analytics. Instrumentation can be installed wired or wireless. Main advantages are real-time monitoring, improved reliability and availability, optimized pump performance, estimate time to maintenance, recommendation and support for corrective actions, and also the monitoring center support. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope I was able to provide some interesting information to you. Please feel free to ask questions or contact me by email. Looking forward to being in contact with you soon. Thank you again and goodbye.